areas in the coal mine. I think, I think when Itchaway Creek and Spring Creek go dry, not only is that unreasonable, and it's violating the reasonable riparian use doctrine, it's telling you you've got a problem that also shows up in the tip plateau. It shows up in two places. And it, and it, and it tells you you're kicking the can down the road. But I was talking about the east, so you know, it flow like the east or where we're pushing water in one way against nature. I don't think we have a different range. In Georgia? Yeah. Because they have that further up on the Amiot River in Mississippi. I mean, I don't know. Mississippi. We're doing it with uh, plumbing in Atlanta. Yeah. We're moving water out of the Chattahoochee into yeah. the Okanogie through the treatment plants right. every day. And uh, they, 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 Gwinnett County, you know Gwinnett County got a lot of people and they've got a bunch of money and they've got the most advanced treatment plant on its size, I guess, in the world. They can actually treat the water to better quality than it was when they withdrew it from Lake Lanier. And they have to. We made it, we sued them, we made it, we do that. And, uh, they wanted to put the water, they wanted to shut down the treatment plant they had on Oak Lawn and put that wastewater through that high quality treatment plant. And EPD says, no, you can't do that because we need that flow into the oh, okay. Alcove River. We need that flow into the Alcove because DeKalb County, no, Yellow River, the Yellow River. We need that flow into Yellow because DeKalb County is discharging in there and they need it to dilute their discharge. Otherwise, they'd have to upgrade that treatment plant. We can't make poor DeKalb County have to upgrade their treatment plant. I mean, it's just... And if you look further downstream during the last drought, the flow in Macon was about equal to the IBT <coughs> coming out of the Chattahoochee side. It was in just a few cubic feet per second of being the same number. And so you've now got a river that's dependent on an IBT for its face flow. Explain what it is. An interbasin transfer, which is what he's talking about. Take water out of water, water that came out of the Chattahoochee yeah. got used in Atlanta and then discharged yeah. into the Elk so These things fundamentally is against the road that you cannot sustain. And you it will lose. Will not. <coughs> You'll lose over time. And that same way we were talking about New Orleans and Katrina, where all the dead and everything, that was just one symptom of a false economy that was built just in the chase of the dollar. That was against nature, and, and you know all the suffering that was that was just a blind uh, way because it's just not honoring some of the things. And it was predictable, and it was predicted. It, it, it was per, it was predicted. Oh, but, yeah. I mean the like the big um, companies uh, getting the right to seeds that have been used by generations of people and so that they can go sue those people for using the seeds that they, you know, are their inherent right. Inherent right. Yeah. And um well, they have produced like a magnificent new pigweed. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can eat that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can eat that. Yeah. Right. And the and you know the same the thing with invasive species too. Those were brought in for somebody to be able to make money. And, and the bigger, the better, the newer, the more exotic, you know, again, the advertising, that this is better than what we have here already. So you got to have it. And, and so, I mean, it's, it's adding one problem on top of another, on top of another, on top of another, until it's just, and, and, but it's all chasing the dollar. The, uh, another, uh, 